today's topic will be about my first wig. About my first wig. I am so excited, y'all, because I'm so proud of myself. Every single day. And how do you do? It's your girl Deja Salif and welcome to my channel. But before we get started, I would love to inspire you, move you to hit that subscribe button and double tap that like button. Tap that and tap that and tap that. Yes, up. real quick. Tap that. So today we're gonna look at the wig that I made how I achieved it, the mistakes that I made, and just get to see how glamorous I am in it. <laughs> Come on, dog. Let's get out of here and go holler at the baby. Come nah, on, man, put it back. Hey, babe. What's going on with you, babe? What's, hey, babe. Check her out, man. She's out here making videos and just living life. Just enjoying herself and just leaving Stop me it. by Take myself, my man. And I'm, off. Just, I'm just feeling myself it right now. Man. I'm, just, or I'm just out here, man. I'm catching the waves and smoking weed and drinking beer, man. man. <laughs> so I am back, guys, and I have her with me. After I talk about her, I'll put her on and allow you to see her when she is on my head. But for now, we're just going to talk a little bit about my experience with her. So first, we're going to talk about the closure. I've actually done a full sew-in with a closure once before, and I feel like I didn't pluck the closure enough, so it's still just like a bunch of hair. You couldn't really see a part in a lot of my pictures. So I feel like I went to the extreme this time. So this is what my part looks like. First mistake of this video, um, I felt like I, in certain areas I plucked her a little too much. A little bit around the area my thumb is in, it's just a lot of space. Next time, hopefully, I'll find that happy medium between not being so close that you can't see apart and so wide that like Moses separated. You know what I mean? As you can see in the front, I did not cut it all the way. I was looking at a video where a girl said to kind of. Um, not to do a straight cut and that's what I did but the thing is I've been really lazy and I have not darkened the part that um, when it lays on my hair and I'll show you again at the wig when it's on but the part that's laying on my hair should I should darken with like a marker or some type of color or powder just so it blends in second we're gonna talk about the wig cap itself so as you can see I told you that I sewed the bundles on and then I just cut around this area so that the actual closure piece would show when it lays down. But the complaints I have about this, this is supposed to be like the, the lady asked me do I want the big head friendly cap or the normal size cap. And I never thought my head was big so I said the normal size. But even the normal size is huge. So when I put this on, it's just a lot of space. So now I'm having the issue with my wig sliding back. And as you can see, I don't have any clips in. So what I've been using are bobby pins. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta work with what you got. Also in regards to the cap. So you see, can see that cap, right? I saw that a lot of women actually just kept sewing along the side, the very, very edge of the cap. And so when they pulled it back, you know, you couldn't see the cap. You just saw the hair folding back. Next, let's talk about the bundles themselves. So, like I said, I got a free part closure, three bundles from St. Louis, where I'm from, my hometown, woo -hoo. The last bundle, which is the longest bundle in here from a beauty supply in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where I currently reside. The ones I got from St. Louis are a lot better. So, I've washed this wig so far, and as you can see, the curls are still there, the body and volume is there, but when you look at the bundle that I got from Chattanooga, which I'm about to show you, give me one second, be patient, it's straight. Like, and it wasn't like, oh, after you washed it, the curls went away. They disappeared way before I washed it. Boom. 
there you go y'all see that so yeah that's one of the downsides to the actual hair also it has been shedding mainly probably shedding from the bundles i got from chattanooga because that's the very back the nape so it gets tangled up really matted i'm always brushing it maybe that's why the curls aren't coming back it's time to put her on so you can see <laughs> how she do hey y'all so please excuse my cap and my hair my edges so when i recorded the first half of this video that was actually a week ago so i haven't retouched up my hair i'm actually thinking about doing a different style so just excuse the mess but anyway here we go so here she is on Most of the time, if I'm wearing it, of course, I'm just kind of wearing it all to the front, shake it out. I like it to feel big. So just let you know, the closure is a 16, then I think I got a 16, 18, 20 bundles from St. Louis, and then I got a 22 inch from here in Chattanooga. So here we go. So here's what the bundles come with. It comes down to my butt, if it was straight, even if it wasn't straight, it kind of comes down to the lowest part of my back yeah i'm only 411 so hair is pretty long on me i don't have to go so dramatic for it to look dramatic so now that i'm looking at my closure up close i have a mirror right here yes now that i'm looking at my closure up close i made a mistake i will admit that but i feel like the part is looking bigger so i'm wondering if i have been losing hair over time from brushing out of my closure which i have seen that on some videos which makes me sad because now that means i need to buy a new closure for this wig as well as the other one i might potentially make i really should correct this though anyway this wig took me quite a minute to make being that it's my first one i was trying to be patient i was trying to take my time so i haven't been necessarily eager to do it again so we have come to the end of this video i just want to thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed watching me share with you my accomplishments as well as the mistakes i have made and that you can learn from my mistakes and do better <laughs> but if you haven't liked this video at this point please go give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i plan to post at least two or three times a week um i just want to be consistent with you all so Thank you for your patience and your understanding. And again, thanks for joining me. Sincerely, Shalise. Peace.